Low-carb diets are becoming increasingly popular, but which foods are low in carbohydrates? I will quickly go through healthy low-carb food choices so you understand what you can eat on a low-carb diet. The best way for you to quickly classify whether a food is low-carb is to think about its source. Did it come from an animal or a plant? And that's significant because plants are the living organisms that make carbohydrates. If you remember learning about photosynthesis, that is the process that plants use to make carbohydrates from raw materials of sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water. So all plant foods will contain carbs, but that doesn't rule them out of a healthy low carb diet. You just need to pick the right ones. Most foods that come directly from animals contain only trace amounts of carbs. So let's start our low carb food list with meats. Meats can come from any source, including beef, poultry, pork, lamb, venison, and bison. And the very versatile egg is a great addition to a low carb diet and works great as a snack meal or a recipe ingredient. There are also products that come from meats that can count as low carb foods like bacon, pork rinds, beef jerky, and lunch meats. But as with any food, processing lowers the nutrient quality of the food. So you will be happiest with the overall quality of your diet if you limit processed meats and choose them wisely to avoid unhealthy ingredients, as well as hidden sugars, which will increase the carb count. Now, I am going to discuss more than 100 low carb foods in this video. So if you would like the full list, you can download the list on my website and I will leave some links here for where you can do that. Okay, let's continue. All varieties of fish and seafood from wild caught salmon and haddock to shrimp and scallops can be enjoyed as part of a low carb diet. Now, dairy products, are the category of animal-based foods that you will want to pay attention to when counting carbs. And there are two reasons. First, dairy contains a natural sugar called lactose, and dairy foods are often sweetened, which can, of course, increase the carb count of the food. Now, while it doesn't apply 100% of the time, a general rule of thumb is that the higher a dairy food is in fat, the lower it will be in the milk sugar lactose. Uh, for instance, a quarter cup of heavy cream has about one and a half grams of carbohydrates, whereas the same amount of fat-free skim milk has twice the carb grams. Fat also provides flavor, so full fat dairy foods don't need to rely on added sugars and sweeteners like their low fat counterparts. So the takeaway is read your labels and don't be afraid to choose the full fat, low sugar varieties when it comes to selecting dairy products. The dairy foods that can fit into a low carb diet include full fat yogurt, heavy cream, half and half, sour cream, and different varieties of cheese. But again, pay attention to the carb count of dairy foods. And we could round out our list of low carb animal-based foods with cooking fats. Uh, those that come from animals include butter, lard, and tallow. Uh, and this also provides a perfect segue into plant-based low carb foods because we get some oils from plants, including avocado oil, which is one of my favorites, as well as coconut oil and olive oil. And there are also oils classified as vegetable oils, such as soybean, sunflower, and canola oil. These oils fit on a low carb list, but I do not use them due to their questionable health value. And if you want to know more about that, you can see my video on the best cooking oils. As I mentioned earlier, all whole plant foods contain carbs, but that doesn't rule them out of a healthy low carb diet. You just need to pick wisely so that you're getting the vital nutrients from the plant foods without the excess carbs. So let's continue our list of low carb plant foods, and I'm going to loosely list them from lowest carb content to highest. Coffee and tea <laughs> come from coffee beans or tea leaves and contain only a trace amount of carb grams, making them a favorite drink of low carb dieters. Herbs and spices also come from plants, 
so they contain trace amounts of carbohydrates, which is typically a non-issue because spices tend to be used in small quantities. But you do want to read the label of packaged spice blends that have other ingredients added in. For instance, this packet of taco seasoning mix contains four carbs per serving, and there's about six servings in here. Uh, leafy green vegetables are a great low carb choice and many other non-starchy vegetables will fit into your low carb lifestyle as well. A few of the more popular low carb vegetables include asparagus, green beans, broccoli, cauliflower, mushrooms, and onions. Uh, onions are a bit higher in carbs than the other vegetables that I mentioned. So that is something that you might want to pay attention to if you are following a very low carb or keto style diet. Nuts and seeds qualify as low carb foods, but it pays to monitor how many you are eating because they are easy to overeat. The carb content will also vary with nuts from uh, with uh, pecans, walnuts, and macadamia nuts being lower in carbs than pistachios and cashews. Uh, low carb seeds are a great way to add crunch to a salad and can be blended into recipes to enhance their health value. I prefer to eat nuts and seeds raw to uh, avoid the unhealthy oils that are typically used for roasting. Uh, some favorites are chia, hemp, sunflower, and pumpkin seeds. With the popularity of low carb diets, we are seeing a rise in popularity of butter derived from nuts and seeds. These natural kinds of butter have a place on our list, but they are even easier to overeat than nuts and seeds themselves. You have to read the label also to make sure that other ingredients, including sugar, were not added. Uh, we can also grind nuts and similar plant foods to give us flour like almond flour or coconut flour for baking. And while these flours may have some health benefits when compared to white flour, anytime you refine a whole food, it changes the way your body handles it. So if you are using a low carb diet as a way to lose weight, you will be happiest with your overall results if you avoid or limit all types of flour. All right, let's talk about fruit. Uh, there are many variety of fruit. Some make the low carb list and others do not. Fruits that are generally regarded as being low carb friendly include avocados, coconuts, lemons and limes, and olives. Uh, there are other fruit that are not super high in carbs that can fit into a low carb diet for some people. These include apples, berries, cantaloupe, cherries, and grapefruit. Uh, however, if you are weight loss resistant, you may find that you need to limit your overall fruit intake. And I have a video on that topic if you would like to learn more about that. Lastly, I am also going to give an honorable mention to dark chocolate, but to qualify as low carb friendly, you'll want to look for brands that are at least 70% cacao with little or no added sugar. Uh, but just a side note, dark chocolate is an acquired taste. So the longer that you are on a low carb diet, the more your taste buds will adjust and you will be able to uh, taste that more subtle sweetness that you get with dark chocolate. So you can see that there are a lot of nutrient rich foods that you can choose from when you follow a low carb diet. Uh, I certainly threw a lot of foods at you in this short video. If you would like the complete downloadable list, you can grab a copy on my website and I will link to that here in the video and down below in the description area. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.